I would say that my favorite librarian is probably Judith Krug, who died in 2009. She was the creator of Banned Books Week, which was an opportunity for all of us to remember how important it is to guard our freedom of speech and to safeguard it even for people with whom we don't agree. And Judith Krug once said, real speech freedom is guaranteeing the rights of people who you wouldn't want to take home to dinner. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, she understood it, and I think it's in the culture of American libraries to understand. I think it is, like so many excessive actions, the result of fear. I think people are afraid to expose others to ideas that they find abhorrent, but you can't prevent people from being exposed to ideas. More and more, if there is an idea, it will out. And some of them are abhorrent. And some of them you just don't agree with. But the idea is simply to fight speech with more speech. And that's something that librarians inherently understand. I, I just don't know what to say about the amount of resistance to the world of ideas. Ideas stand on their own or they fall on the merits of the ideas themselves, not on the basis of some artificial uh, theology or some, you know, I have very little use for moralism. Uh, I think that uh, moralism without, without being able to stand up to intellectual rigor is a false, you know, it's a false morality. And I look, at, I look at books that are even as elemental to the American experience as Huck Finn. Uh, being, for, being edited, being re-edited to take out the, the ugliness in American history. That book, that book matters because of the ugliness that's in, the, in its pages, because of what Twain is documenting. And Jim's journey to humanity, to, to the full rigor of humanity, is important because of how he's regarded in his time and place. You take that out of it, and you know, Jim's journey and the journey down the river mean less. That people would be arguing over this in a new century is embarrassing. When I was in high school, there was a banned book, and the banned book was entitled Johnny Got His Gun. Dalton Trumbo. By Dalton Trumbo. Right. And I asked my librarian about the book, and she says, I'll get you a copy. Ah, there you and go. She tears. <laughs> and and what did it do for you reading that book? I love that book because the the book was very touching for me because I it was really it was a, I didn't really so much read it as an anti-war book as a as a man who was suffering. Here was a man who couldn't who had lost all bodily functions but he could think and he could feel and that much more than his actual thoughts. Um, moved me and it made me cry because no one was listening and I thought how could they ban this book? If there are ideas in a book that appeal to your intellect or your emotions or whatever you should be able to experience that one way or the other. If you're going to try to ban books and you're trying to ban thought and you're trying to ban emotion and you're trying to ban things that make the country what it's supposed to be. Well, it always disappoints me to see books censored in libraries and schools. I happens to my own, my own books, it also happens to a lot of the books that I love the most. Um, you know, I, I believe that some people should not be able to make decisions for all people about what constitutes appropriate content. Um, and that, you know, the responsibility of, of us as individuals and as parents is to make decisions about ourselves and our children, uh, not about other people and their children.